there's a time for every, every star. star. Everybody's got that something. Everybody's got that something. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Yes, Diva, Diva. Oh, oh boy. I got to tell y'all, I haven't been this happy ever to deliver a message. And um, I'm, I'm excited. I am excited. I'm ecstatic. I have a message to deliver to you in all of this chaos that's going on. In all of this chaos, I have a beautiful, wonderful message to deliver to you. Diva. Oh, I got my voice back. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm excited today. The topic that we're going over today is time to rejoice, spiritual cleansing, time to rejoice because this is a spiritual cleansing. I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all know we're going through hectic times right now. And yes, just so y'all know, this is not an old video. This is a new video. I couldn't go live because I'm blocked on Facebook and that's probably, well, the, the, the video, the live video, they blocked me for whatever reason and that's probably good. Things happen for a reason uh, because probably if I had put this out two days ago, uh, definitely, you know, two days ago I would have been cursing. Mad and cursing, cursing and mad, cursing and mad, mad and cursing. Because I'm like, what am I doing here? Why am I here? And I know that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. But um, I was going through uh, my my own demons, I will call them, in my head, where it's like I had left here in this country. Now, right now I'm in North America. I had left here uh, to go because I saw some things that were coming. I knew what was coming. And so I left here because um, I didn't want to be caught up in this mess. I knew that there would be a lockdown. I knew it was coming. And I, 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 I was like, I'm getting out of here. And so I left seven and a half years ago to get away from it. And I promised that I would never return to this country. So some of you all have not heard uh, me speak about this or haven't heard me talk about it. But um, yeah, that's that's what happened. I went to, I was, I was, I'm going to South America somewhere. I don't know where, because I was trying to decide where I was going. That's a whole nother story. I won't get into that. But right now, I ended up coming back maybe about three months ago uh, because my father passed. And I, when I left, I was like, I don't care who died. I'm not going back. That was, that was it. I was not going to be going back. Uh, and I didn't expect to see anybody alive again. And so my father passed. And so I ended up having to, oh, well, I came back because I wasn't going to come back because my mother asked me, well, you're not coming back? I was like, no, no, I'm not. And so she got to say, well, well, how much? I'll help you with the ticket. And so I decided, you know, because she kind of made me feel a little guilty, I would come back. And so here we are. I'm back. And three months into this, we come to this situation where we're going to have a lockdown. And I am just livid. I'm like, how did I end up here in all of this mess? And I know I came back because I'm supposed to come back. The spirits told me I was supposed to come back. And I, because I know all things happen for a reason. And um, so I, I don't, I didn't understand why am I here? And I, I was going through that. Why am I here? And I'm angry and I'm cursing because I normally don't vent on my posts because, um, you know, I, I know how to talk to the spirits and get what answers I need. But I couldn't, I was, I was, oof, livid. So the good thing I wasn't live. I couldn't go live because <laughs> what I would have posted was terrible. And then yesterday I was in my down, down place. I was because I didn't understand what this was that was going on and uh really uh, up until this morning because i i will be leaving here i'm going to south america um because i was like listen i i'm not staying here if people don't want to listen if people don't want to uh fight for themselves then I, i'm leaving I, I, I the same way i felt the same way when seven years ago seven and a half years ago that i felt uh, uh, yesterday and up until this morning it was like I'm leaving I'm, I don't have to stay here I don't have anything here I'm leaving and all of you all who have said to me diva we need you and I hear you you are spirits and I hear you I love you and I thank you and I'm gonna give you 
and the spirits what they need for me to give. So I'm, I'm here today. Uh, I, I'm saying I'm excited because the spirits gave me my voice back. The last thing that I wanted to do in this message that I'm delivering right now is to give you some kind of negative message or where I'm down. Um, and, but I didn't know how to come from, you know, where diva is. Where's my happiness? I live in happiness until I got a message. I got a message today and I want to thank the spirits for, for sending this message to me. I want to thank my sister, Ashe, for giving me my voice back and helping me to understand what I'm supposed to say to you. This is a time to rejoice. This is a time to rejoice because this is a spiritual cleansing. That's what we're talking about. A time to rejoice, a spiritual cleansing. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is what's going on in this system. Um, you know I'm going to get heavy on the universal laws. And I'm going to talk about what's going to happen. All right. We're going into this. And and um, I'm so excited. I'm, I, I've not been this excited to deliver a message uh, since I've, I've started doing any kind of session. So sit back and y'all relax because these are tense times. And I'm going to give you some information that the spirits were kind enough to deliver to me today. This is a time to rejoice. All right. As long as your spirit, your energies are on point, this is the time to rejoice. All right, I'm going to give you some information about what's going on, and then we're going to, you know, go through this. Unfortunately, um, I, I, you know, this is not alive, so I can't answer your questions or anything in this session. But please leave your questions, and I'm going to try to get to them, um, you know, uh, today if I can or what have you. I'll get to them when, when you post them. All right, so here we go. Time to rejoice, a spiritual cleansing. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm excited and I'm happy. Oh, listen. All right. Now, those of you all know, I spoke about how, uh, you know, they've shut everything down. They shut the schools down. They've shut, they've shut uh, you know, the government down. All of these things, government, government. They're being shut down. You've seen where a lot of these uh, heads of these corporations, they are, they've left, they've gone, they've, they've removed themselves. And we're going to talk about what's going on with that. Now, this is the system, what's going on. I want to speak about, now you all have heard me speak about the hierarchy of laws. Now, if you don't have those hierarchy of laws, you, you can go on my page and download them. Also, you can go to... Uh, um, Amax Pro, A M A X P R O dot com forward slash Diva, capital D I V A, capital L Y R I, all right? D I V A L Y R I, one A. So go and um, download those documents. Uh, the hierarchy of laws, the universal laws are huge right now. Uh, we got to we got to know these things because this is what's going on, and that's your salvation. Now you've heard me speak so many times about, um, you know, uh, universal laws, God's law, and how we have forgotten about God. You know, people have been taking this thing like, oh, oh, you know, God, so help me God, and they think that it's just a joke. They take this Bible and they don't respect this book. Now we know the Bible is not the perfect word of God. The, 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 those scriptures come from the melanated woman, as I have told you, and the male has taken those and rearranged them and, you know, taken out the names. And most of those gods in that book, there were many gods and clumped them into one, but they they removed the name and just replaced it with God. And most of those names were feminine. All right. Even when we're talking about Lord, what does that mean? That means a lady. All right. So you've got to understand what this book is and where it came from. But it has a lot of power. It's a contract. It is a contract, and we're going to get into that today. So what's going on with the system? And I had to talk about, I want to bring up the Bible and, and speak on it. It is a contract that we have, uh, 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 that tells us, what it, what they called it, the acronym for it, basic, basic instruction before leaving earth. Okay. If you don't know that book, I'm going to suggest to you within the next two weeks while everybody's off. See, this is giving you time. Everybody's off work. You don't have to go into work and all this other stuff. They're shutting the system down. Good. 
take this time to read that book and do not read it in a in a heavy heart all right you people i'm talking to sisters time to rise baby time to rise all right so read the book just know what's in it okay and i'm going to go over these um universal laws and hierarchies of laws so that you can understand this game and what's going on all right so the bible is a contract and we need to keep that in mind we need to understand where it came from and uh you know how things have been changed we can see this when we do our own research now um, and I'll speak on some of that, but I just need to get into this. Some of the, in that Bible, you'll find prophecies, all right, that have been, um, been coming true. Again, I tell you who wrote those scriptures, all those, especially the Old Testament that was written by melanated women. You don't find, you know, prophecies most in the New Testament. Those are in the Old Testament. So let's talk about some of these prophecies that have been going on that I saw before I left the country seven years ago. But when we talk about like the gold scandal, that's in the Bible. What happened with this gold scandal? Well, um, this, for one thing, United States Corporation, which so, most of y'all know there's a difference between the United States Corporation and the United States of America. All right, so the United States Corporation had been um, getting these gold, this gold and they were, uh, actually it wasn't gold, it was tungsten. I don't know if you all know what tungsten is. It's about the same weight as gold, uh, the same uh, properties, physical properties of gold, but it was, it's a more of a, a silverish tone. So what they had started doing is taking this uh, tungsten and they had started covering it with um, gold, putting a, a layer of gold on it. Now, United States supposedly owed China, all right? And instead of paying China, because China had, you know, was getting these Federal Reserve notes, and they were like, these are garbage. China's like, what? Well, I, I can't use these this garbage Federal Reserve notes. And then so they started requesting bars of gold from the United States Corporation. All right? And so uh, the United States Corporation decided they were going to send over fake bars of gold. For whatever reason, when they were sending these things over, um, you've got China decides they're going to drill some of these bars of gold and as they did they found out that these bars of gold were actually tungsten all right and so the deal is that oh okay uh they've been sending us fake gold now of course that caused some drama I, I, it wasn't publicizing you'd have to dig deep to find that actual story but that that went on also you had another deal that was talked about in you know you could find it in the bible about how um they had these bars of gold that people are, are investing in the stock market. They, you know, they they think they're investing in gold, but uh, what they're doing is they're investing in so-called banks of gold that are in a bank or in a vault. And the, the the deal is that these people were putting on the market there that there was gold that wasn't really gold. And so when what happened is when people start trying to count the gold, they would move the gold from one bank to the another to make it seem like. All right, so they moved these uh, bars of gold. They would move the bars of gold to another location, all right? And so what would end up happening is as they moved these bars of gold to a new location, they would be telling people that, oh, yeah, did, we got gold over here. And really, they didn't. And so because there was so much movement, they couldn't really get a true uh, accounting of what gold was in place. And so at any rate... Um, so that's where we are with that, uh, as far as, you know, that's, again, that's something that was spoken about in the Bible, about how there's going to be this whole scandal with respect to what's going on with uh, this goal. All right, now, um, with all that being said, let's, I want to get on the true currency, because we get a lot of people who are talking about, oh, um, they going back on the gold standard. And y'all need to understand that, you know, you know they've been telling you gold is real money, silver is real money. None of that is real money. None of it is real money. You are the real money. You understand? You, your energy, you are the real money. All this gold and whatever this is, I mean, it, it's, it's not what you've been told. And here's the other thing about this system that we have been running on. Um, you know, everybody's talking about, uh, um, you know, going back on a gold standard. But then, you know, 
I don't know why the hell y'all want to support this gold standard. You don't have no gold. If you know everything which is has been shut down, it shuts down today. Can you support yourself on gold? How much gold do you have? Why the hell you want to go back on a gold standard when you don't have none? So stop the madness. Let me help you understand something. When these people first invaded these countries, my research is showing that the original people were running off of paper documents. That's what that's how they, they traded. Because when they got here, when these people invaded, the gold was everywhere. You know, the, the it, when we talk about Khalifa tribe, that's all they had. Gold, gold is it, gold and gold. You understand? Gold was everywhere. In South America, gold is everywhere. So they weren't trading that. They they just give it as gifts. Well, now here these people come and they steal, they taking the gold. They want to steal the gold or what have you. And so then they make they come up with this gold standard. Well, once they come up with the gold standard and then they start stealing the gold. Well, now they got to go on to uh, a paper currency. They got to go back to the paper currency and then say that the paper is backed by the gold. Well, then once they stole the rest of that gold, now it's just paper currency and it's backed by nothing. But guess what? They did you a favor when they did that. They did you a favor when they did that because at this point, before the system shut down, I could turn a penny into gold. I turn anything into gold. It doesn't matter. I could make this pen be worth this pen. I could make it be worth a million dollars if I say it's worth a million dollars. That's what it's worth because we're not understanding what true money is or how to what currency is. So. This I want to say this to you all about understanding what money is. Your energies is the true money. And what I would be trying to talk to you all about the universal laws, which we're, we're going to get into them and we're going to get deep into them. And I want y'all to pull them down. When I would talk to you about those universal laws is because that is where your money is. It comes from your spiritual energy. So when you learn how to tap into this, you are not going to worry about no money. Now y'all get ready. To, you know, you're going to have people running around like a chicken with a head cut off. But you are fortunate enough to be listening to Diva. <laughs> I'm excited to bring this to you because I need y'all to pay attention. Pay attention. Or you going to pay out the butt for real. All right. Getting back to these prophecies. Another prophecy that we were finding in the Bible is that these people who call themselves Jews would be running for the border. I was waiting on that to happen. I didn't know that I was seeing it happen until the spirits were kind enough to deliver a message to me. The Jews are running for the border. What the hell? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? These so-called Jews. I told you all a couple of weeks ago, I told you about who's running everything, who owns everything. You don't want to be mad at the Albion. Okay, the Albion wasn't running this. There's another group of entities or people. I'm calling them people. I don't know. They're different entities. But y'all y'all have seen them step down. When we talk about Microsoft, we talk about uh, 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 credit card companies. We're talking about, you name it. All of these higher level companies, they're stepping down. Why is that? Why is it? What, what, made, what made the Pope even change his mind about sending this message saying, hey, you know, we're not covering y'all anymore. You, you know, you lawyers and you judges, you're not covered. Y'all better get your own insurance. What, where does that come from? All right. I'm going to get into that. But I'm going to get back to this. I told you who was running these corporations. They are now running for the border. Why? Why? Because there's a spiritual cleansing going on. You cannot mess with God's people. You understand? You cannot mess with God's people. Now, and I'm talking to God's people too. If you don't mess with God's people, you're in trouble too. That's why I tell y'all, we have to start repenting for the things that we've done, not only in this dimension, in this vessel, in other dimensions, in other vessels too. Because if you're getting energies coming on you, it's not happenstance. You must 
recognize who you are now. You're God's. If you're getting an energy, know that you put it out because the universe is only going to seek balance. All right. So now let's understand this. These people have withdrawn. They have withdrawn because they're in trouble. They're getting their butts kicked. They're getting their butts kicked. And that's what we're seeing. We are being tricked with all of this coronavirus, this coronavirus, that. This virus, this has nothing to do with no virus. This is a spiritual cleansing. And you are made to panic. And, you know, you're going to have your head, you know, you're upset, you're angry. I know because I was there. I was there. And I knew better. It's like, Diva, I need, you know, that spirits, I need you to talk to me. Tell me what's going on. And they spoke. And I heard them. And I'm here to deliver this message to you. You do not have to panic. You got you got time. Because uh, we got some things going on now. And you got time to clean it up. But you're going to have to repent for whatever we've done in our lifetime. You got to show respect. And I told you, I kept saying we have forgotten about God. You have forgotten about God. Okay? So we're going to get into this. Speaking of God. Let's talk about this federal government. Because those people who are owning are, are over those corporations, they're not the only people running. They're not the only people running. The federal government. What does federal mean? Federal means covenant covenant all right a covenant is a contract is an agreement who are they making this covenant with they're making it with god why how do we know this because every last federal agent must take an oath of office what's this oath this oath i swear to protect the people the bottom line i swear to protect the people okay so help me god Every last one of their oaths of office in with so help me God. Every last one. And so that is not something to be taken lightly when you just made a contract with God. See, we think God is some oh it's spirit in the sky. Okay. You don't you don't take it seriously. And we've got the Pope here. We got the Pope who is, oh yeah, I've taken uh, making this contract and I'm taking over the all the land and the property. Uh, till God gets back. Well, guess what? God's back. God's back. And this is the cleansing that you're seeing. And so all of this stuff about a coronavirus scare and all of this, okay, it, this has nothing to do with no coronavirus. This is a spiritual cleansing and this is time for you to rejoice. I'm here to give you this message because what you're supposed to be doing right now, this is your time to be excited. Now they're going to tell oh, ain't no food in the grocery store. Ain't no this over that. And ain't no that over that. This is why y'all need to go download the universal laws. Because I'm going to show you how to manifest. I'm going to show you what the spirit showed me and what they've been showing me. And how I have been living my best life. Because I work for the universe. I work for the universe. And I want to say to the universe now, because I know they're listening. And they always have been listening. I, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity to share this message. I am so excited. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share this message. I'm so excited. Thank you for uh, choosing me. Thank you. As for those of you who are out there, please pay attention. Pay attention. Because we're going to show you how you don't have to worry about no Federal Reserve notes. The universe got your money. Mama got your money. Mama, the gods are back. And all you sisters out there, you melanated sisters, congratulations. You're going to get your powers back if you can show that you deserve them. Show that you deserve them. That's all they want. They want to know, are you responsible? All right. So we got the Pope over here. He's unclaimed everything, saying everything belongs to him. He's just holding on to it for God till God's back. Okay, God is back. Let's understand this. I'm getting back on federal. All of these people who have taken oaths, 
And I'm telling you, we are God's property, all of us, the Albions, the Mexicans, the, all of them. But if you have harmed God's people, yes, you're ready to see God. And it's all about whatever energies you have put out. So all of these people who have taken oaths, your preachers, your doctors, your judges, your lawyers, your politicians, you do not play with God. Do not play with God. Because y'all get ready to see. And so I'm just here just to deliver this message so you understand what's going on. This is a time to rejoice if you're on, on point. If you're not on point, you better get together. All right? Now, the Bible has told us that we're not supposed to swear, meaning swear, take an oath. The Bible has said that we are not to swear. We are not to take an oath. But these people have taken oaths. And when you take these oaths and you're swearing to God, you better live up to it. These people took this stuff for granted. You think you're going to sign your name on something, say, so help me God, and it means nothing. These federal, federal means a covenant. You make a covenant with God, you better be on point. And as you can see, they have been uh, 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 harming God's property. Well, some people are getting ready to get dealt with. Now, let me talk about this because I, I've talked to you about, you know, how I felt that I was going to have to go and um, um, put somebody in prison because of her not upholding her oath. Well, I don't think I have to worry about that now because that's getting ready to be taken care of. And with that being said, I also mentioned to you about all these people who are in uniforms, cops. Uh, 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 sheriffs and all the, these people have uniforms that are, are created or that are um, they stand for taking away your God given rights. If you was in the military, y'all notice look, ain't no military people out. What are you at? Okay, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get this. This is a this is a serious time now, but it's a time that you don't, you don't look. The spirits uplifted me. Thank you. They gave me this message so I can give it to you. Now, what am I telling you to do? Pay attention. Or are you going to pay out your butt? All right. So all of these people who have taken these oath and these people who were, you know, in these uniforms and they were representing people who take away other people's rights. You have to give back. You have to return that energy. You put out an energy. It has to come back to you rather. So if you've locked somebody up or participated, oh, I was just following instructions, okay. The universe is getting ready to help you to operate under the same energy that you put out. It's coming back to you. But if you have been righteous and if you have been uh, 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 upholding and had integrity, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. All right. And we're going to talk about some of the things that uh, are going to help us in this time. We're going to talk about how to get uh, what we need in these times without being stressed. Uh, without being um, uh, upset and angry. I'm going to show you, you this time to have fun. This time to be excited. This time to watch the universe because she's getting ready to bring you what you deserve. And if you want good things, then all you got to do is put it out. That's what you're going to deserve. All right. Um, let me talk about these universal laws. Universal laws. Y'all know I'm, I'm big on those because those are the highest laws of the land. They talk about uh, the laws of maxim, which are in the Bible. Okay. But the universal laws are all throughout the Bible because the universal laws are the basis. All right. Any of these uh, uh, masons and all these you know, fraternal orders. They, the universal laws, uh, the first laws that they learn, and those deal with mama. That, that that's mama right there. All right, and they deal with whatever energies you put out must come back. Whatever energies you put out must come back, and they all have to learn this. And this is why I talk to you about because they've been using them in our face over and over, and we haven't been recognizing that. And so. 
I want to talk to you about, like I had a client to come to me. And he tells me that he's like, we're a diva. <laughs> I need to talk to you because um, I got two tickets. And one of them, I was uh, I stole something. The other one is a car, traffic, whatever. Okay, which one do you want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about the one, why, the, the, the stealing. Okay, let's talk about it. I'm like, did you steal something? Yes. Now, I went off on it because it's like, listen, you, you know, you're asking me to help you relieve yourself of an energy that you brought on yourself. You got to pay for that energy that you put out. You know, what do you want me to do? Get you off where you don't have to pay anything? And What are you asking me to do? And so basically, he's like, yeah, okay. I was like, no, you're going to have to pay for that. Now, what I did do, uh, you know, it turns out he had um, put out, they had already gotten him for um, two bonds for $20,000 and he had to pay 15. I told you, you don't know how bonds work. When they write a bond and then you sign it, um, it's going to be, they made him pay 1000 on the first $20,000 bond and then they made him pay 500 on the second one. So they took him, they got him, and then they were bringing him back because they were going to turn that stealing into a felony. And so what I told him to do, I said, listen, you're going to have to pay that energy back. So my thing was, listen, you've stolen what I want you to do. And he told me he stole a generator. Hey, brother, thank you for letting me share this story uh, with the people. But um, you've stolen. So what I want you to do, go go to the, um, I want you to go to a pawn shop and get you some appliances and find a business that, that could use these appliances and give them as gifts. That's one way. That's because the first thing is you have to pay the universe back. You took, and now you have to give it back. All right, you don't necessarily have to give it back to the people because the people, you know, I don't want to go into this, but the people who you stole it from, they probably stole something else. That's why you you was just there to deliver the energy. So now you need to put it back. And um, and then you know we went through the documents and the paperwork with respect to court. And I told him, I was like, listen, listen to me. It's important that you get the universal laws down, the highest laws, because when you get these down, all of this stuff underneath is going to fall off. It's going to fall off. When you get this level right, everything underneath is going to fall off. All right. Now, he, listen, I, I was like, look, you go and put those out. You probably won't even be a court case. Okay. I want to even be, a, you know, they dismiss it. Okay, well, guess what? Ain't no court Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ain't no court. Well, next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. After that, there's no court. Get these laws down right here, and you're gonna you're gonna find everything underneath it falls off. All right. Now, let's talk about what's going to happen. What's what's happened? Again, I speak about a spiritual cleansing. That's what this is. If your spirits have been off, if you've been disrespectful to people, you've been saying mean things to people, been acting evil, talking nasty about the brother, about the Albion, about the Mexican, about the women. Those are energies that are held. Those are energies that are held. And if you haven't been on point, well. There's going to be some cleansing. All of us. What are you talking about? You're going to be judged. Let me tell you something. God is back. God is back. And this is not a joke. This is not a joke what we're going to through. And so all of this coronavirus scare thing is to keep you mentally unfocused. I'm trying to help you focus. Thank you, spirits. Thank you for helping me to focus. I appreciate it. I've never, you know, talked to the spirits on camera. I'm talking right now to the spirits because I need them to know I'm thankful that they have allowed me to be able to deliver this message to you. I am I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. And all the, the times that I've delivered. And for those of you who paid attention, um, you paid attention. You deserve the knowledge. You deserve the information. Congratulations. Now, you got a little bit of work to do and you got a little bit of time to do it in. 
If you don't know the universal laws, go find them. Read them. And be on point now. What we've got to do in this time, uh, because yes, they're gonna everything is shut down. And um, you know, and so those of you all who think it's all about the money, I gotta have money. I've been telling y'all money is not even real. Well, well, now you're gonna find out. Those of you all who've been paying attention to the universal laws, you're gonna find out where the real money is right here right here you got to learn how to use your feminine energies your spiritual energies that's where the real money is so what am i talking about what i'm talking about is manifesting 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 all right you're going to take care of each other you're going to take care of each other. The more you're willing to take care of each other, the more the universe will take care of you. Work for the universe right now. Y'all, y'all are out of your jobs. Your kids are out of school. You're all this. Y'all work for the you work for you want to work for somebody. Work for the universe. You want to work for the universe. Apply. How do I apply? You just do kind things for people. If you haven't started growing food, go grow some. If you know somebody who has it, find a way to help them deliver it to other people. Deliver it. You know somebody who has a garden or, or, or whatever, find a way to help somebody. Because when you do that, the universe must bring it back. These are law, all these lower level laws, they're gone. We're talking about uh, universal laws, natural laws, laws of maximum. Okay, you start talking about a constitution. Uh, mm, that ain't even. Uh, contract law is probably still there. Well, federal codes. Universal laws. That's where you want to be right now. You want to understand what they are. If you don't have them, go download them. Because that's where you need to understand. This is how you manifest one of my favorite laws. The law of uh, compensation. You want to be compensated. Work for the universe. Whenever you put one thing out, it must come back. I'm going to give you an example. Okay, like this bottle of water. See, y'all don't understand. I don't even like it. I don't want you to see the name because I'm not, a, you know, I want to be advertising for them. This bottle of water is currency. This is currency right here. But you don't have to expect no payment back from it. When you give it, by law, the universe must return it to you many times over and then you got <laughs> more than this. This, this i'm just doubling universe returns uh compensates many times over especially when you give it from your heart so i'm trying to look for a federal reserve note don't worry about no damn federal reserve notes give it if you want it you must give it away this one of my sisters put this out to me she kept saying it again and you want it you must give it away you want it, you must give it away that's a universal law if you want it you must give it away Give it away. And it must come back to you. You live in abundance. For those of y'all who are listening to this, you are not living in scarcity. This, this, this society has lied to you. You live in abundance. Going back to the natural law, when you plant a seed, is, is the nature going to just give you one seed back? No. You plant a seed, she's going to give you many seeds. It's going to give you a big tree and then a whole bunch of seeds going to come from. So if you want it, you must give it away. We live in abundance. We live in abundance. I'm so happy to bring you this message. I know y'all, you know, some of y'all are stressed. If you're listening to this, cut it out. You don't have to stress no more. If you're listening to this, all you need to do is trust in the laws and trust in your God. If y'all have a God, you religious people, trust and no, just no. I don't even. I don't even use. I don't like that word. Believe the B word. I don't like that word. No. All right. So let me let me get through this because um, my time is about to run out. But what I want y'all to understand is this is a time to rejoice. Don't panic. You don't need to panic. You need to learn the laws because yes, there is something coming. And if you have done these ill things and you have gone against the universal laws, 
You better find a way to put that energy back. If you took energy from someone, if you took their time for them, and you a cop, and you done arrested people, and you've done, you better put it back. You got time. You got time. Um, and don't accept any vaccinations. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, if they got a gun to your head, don't do it. That is that is Diva's word. I'm, uh, I'm telling you now, don't do it. Do not do no vaccinations. And as I've said in my video, you deserve whatever you get if you allow them to vaccinate you. All right? Read those universal laws because what you're going to do is manifest, manifest, manifest. Work for the universe. This is your opportunity to work for the universe. I'm glad your job ain't. I was hoping all y'all get fired. Good. Good. Work for the universe now. Watch her show you how she can pay you more than any man on this planet would ever pay you for your time. Work for her. Work for the universe. Then that's where your that's where your wealth is gonna come from. That's where your riches reside. Because I told y'all about the mitochondria. The mitochondria creates everything and everything comes from her. She is the one who creates all the energy on, on this planet. She's back. God is back. She's been here. This is another dimension that we're stepping in. And so, uh, you know, I, I want y'all to love each other. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Put the energy out. If you want something, if you want water, you need water, give it. And you got to have it back. Plant When you're planting these things, when you're giving things from your heart, you're planting a seed. This is a seed. When you were planting your dollars, your dollars are seeds. You don't have to depend on uh, a Federal Reserve note anymore. If you want it. If you want it, you must give it away. That is the law that I've been trying to tell y'all. This is the wealth. For those of you few who ever uh, paid attention to when I'm speaking on these universal laws, congratulations. Now you get ready to see them really work. Congratulations. This is a great time. This is a time to be excited and happy. And again, understand another law. There are no victims and nothing is happenstance. And that's one of the things I had to remember when I ended up back here and I was so frustrated. I'm like, why, why am I here? Why am I? Well, I'm here for a reason. And I'm happy that I met one of my sisters uh, who was able to give me some words and help to calm my spirit so that I can hear the spirits talking to me. This is a time to rejoice. I've never been so excited to deliver a message ever. And um, I love y'all. I'm going to go down here to South America. Uh, you know, I'm going to go down here to South America and and uh, I'm getting a lot of messages right now. I don't know what that, that is, but yeah, because I got to deliver this message to my people down there. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit Belize and then I'm going to go head on south um, to, to the people who I really love, who, who I, I grew up there in Argentina. They showed me love. They treat me like a God. And I'm going to make sure I take care of them because this is going to, this thing is starting in America. It's going to spread all throughout and I need them to know what's going on. So, uh, you know, we will probably lose contact. Uh, yes, there, you know, something's going to hit where, you know, all of this system is going to be shut down. And um, but just all you need to know is there are no victims. And when you put energy out, it can't come back to you unless you put it out. All right. It cannot come back to you unless you put it out. So listen, y'all just love each other. All right. Love, give with love. If you want food, give, give it. If you know, okay, shoot, I might run out of beans and greens. Do you, you need to give, give it so that it can come back so that the universe can give you dividends on your, your job and your work that you've done for her. All right? If you want dividends, you got to put something out. And it's not about no Federal Reserve notes. If you got some and somebody would appreciate it, know that your, your Federal Reserve note is a seed. All the people who have been listening to me, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. 
Thank you for backing me. Thank you for your words that you've given me. Um, I, we got a lot of work to do. You know, I got to go down, you know, and I got to put this message out down there. That's what I need to do. That's my job. And your job is to make sure those of you who know the truth, you are here and make sure you're putting out the right energies, your universal energies. This is this is your universal currency right now. The, the new currency, your universal currency right now. Universal currency. And it comes from here. It comes from here. Get those laws down. And y'all are going to be fine. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Don't accept shots of vaccinations. Don't panic. Take care of each other. This thing is getting good. And again, you have time. You got time. So go ahead and, um, you know, get those laws down. I talked about uh, another thing before I get out of here. Um, I spoke about, um, you know, reading the Bible and knowing in those laws. Um, in there, uh, the Leviticus, uh, Deuteronomy, and Exodus, they have laws in them. Find out what those laws are. Read them. And then I want you to go and then read um, the secret covenant. And it's, it's on one of my links. I'll try to post a link on it. But read, read them. And what you're going to understand, when I started reading that Bible, what I realized is whoever wrote these scriptures, they knew that we would be here in this situation. And the closer we moved to those scriptures, the, the less harm we would come to from these people who were trying to take us out. So now what I'm saying to you is go read the scriptures, read the secret covenant, get those, understand what those laws are, get them um, maxims of law. And that book is on point. You know those prophecies. All right. So um, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Work for the universe. Congratulations, those of you who paid attention. Now you're going to reap a lot of benefits. All right. Diva, I'm out.